Rabbit MQ vs. Kafka, a comprehensive guide with examples and detailed comparison. Rabbit MQ and Apache Kafka are two popular messaging systems, but they serve different purposes and are best suited for different use cases. Two of the most popular tools used for this purpose are RabbitMQ and Kafka. Both are open source distributed messaging systems, but they serve different use cases and offer different advantages based on the scenarios in which they are deployed. Let's dive into a detailed comparison, use cases, and examples of both RabbitMQ and Kafka. Overview of RabbitMQ RabbitMQ is an open-source message broker that acts as an intermediary for messaging between producers and consumers. Message Acknowledgement ensures delivery of messages. Flexible routing, exchanges, direct, topic, fanout, allow for dynamic routing of messages. Queuing model, messages are stored in queues and consumers pull them. Reliability and durability. Messages can be persisted to disk. Plugins and extensibility. Support for a wide range of plugins, example, for monitoring or additional protocols like MQDT and Stomp. Overview of Apache Kafka. Apache Kafka is a distributed streaming platform primarily used for building real-time data pipelines and event streaming applications. Key features of Kafka. Log-based architecture. Kafka stores messages as logs that can be replayed by consumers. Horizontal scalability, easily scale across multiple servers and partitions. High throughput and low latency, handles millions of messages per second. Event streaming, Kafka is ideal for handling event streams in real time. Fault tolerance, with replication, Kafka can ensure messages are not lost. Key differences between RabbitMQ and Kafka Message Broker RabbitMQ uses a broker to manage message queues. Push Model RabbitMQ messages are pushed to consumers. Message Acknowledgement RabbitMQ ensures messages are acknowledged and not lost. RabbitMQ Use Case It is good for real-time messaging and complex routing. Distributed Streaming Platform Kafka designed for large-scale message streaming. Pull model, Kafka consumers pull messages as needed. Log-based storage, Kafka messages are stored in a log and consumers can reread them. Kafka use case, Kafka ideal for big data applications and high-throughput messaging. Use cases for RabbitMQ. 1. Real-time messaging system. In a chat application, you need to deliver messages between users in real time with low latency. RabbitMQ can be used to route messages between users through queues and exchanges. Example User sends a message, producer. Message goes to an exchange. Exchange routes the message to the correct queue based on routing keys. User, consumer, receives the message. 2. Task Queue In systems like e-commerce, where background tasks, such as processing orders, are distributed across worker nodes, RabbitMQ can distribute the task load. Example Orders are placed and added to a task queue. Workers pull tasks from the queue to process them. 3. Microservices Communication In a microservices architecture, RabbitMQ is often used to send messages between services in a decoupled manner. Use cases for Kafka 1. Real-time data streaming Kafka excels in real-time data streams, where high-throughput and low-latency delivery are key. Examples include tracking user interactions on a website or handling IoT sensor data. Example User interactions are streamed to Kafka topics. Kafka consumers, analytics services, databases, read and process the data in real-time. 2. Event sourcing for microservices In an event-driven architecture, Kafka can be used to capture every change in the system as a stream of events. 
This pattern allows you to decouple the services and replay events when necessary. Example A user registers on a website, an event is sent to a Kafka topic. Multiple services, example notification, analytics, consume this event to take actions, send an email, update metrics. 3. Log aggregation Kafka is often used for log aggregation, collecting logs from different systems and streaming them to consumers for processing or storage. When to choose RabbitMQ over Kafka? RabbitMQ is a better choice when you need complex routing, low latency messaging, smaller message volumes, and short-lived message retention. 1. If you need complex routing, RabbitMQ's advanced exchange types, example direct, topic, fan out, make it easier to implement complex routing logic. 2. For low latency messaging, when you need real-time messaging with guaranteed delivery, such as transactional systems. 3. When dealing with smaller message volumes, RabbitMQ is ideal for task queues, background jobs, and other scenarios where high throughput is not the main requirement. 4. Where message retention is short-lived, RabbitMQ is useful when messages are short-lived and processed in real-time, rather than kept in logs for long periods. When to choose Kafka over RabbitMQ? Kafka's design is tailored for high-throughput event streaming and durable message storage. Here are some scenarios where Kafka stands out. 1. If you need high-throughput and scalability. Kafka is designed to handle millions of messages per second and scale across large clusters. 2. For event streaming and event-driven architecture, Kafka's log-based storage allows messages to be replayed and used in event sourcing patterns. 3. When message retention matters, Kafka allows you to retain messages for a defined period, making it suitable for use cases like log aggregation, stream processing, and auditing. 4. For distributed systems, Kafka is highly distributed and fault-tolerant by design, making it ideal for distributed data pipelines. Conclusion Use RabbitMQ when you need a message broker that excels in low latency, real-time messaging, task queuing, and complex message routing. Use Kafka when you need a distributed, scalable, and fault-tolerant platform for streaming data, event sourcing, and handling high throughput workloads. Thank you for watching video. Please like and follow for more quick tech breakdowns.